G'day guys and welcome to our Big Trip series where we're going to spend 18 weeks hitting some of the most remote and iconic destinations that Australia has to offer. We've got the 200 series kitted out ready to go and we're going to be towing our camper trailer, the Robbo. In this episode we leave our home in the northern suburbs of Perth and travel 600 kilometres east to the small gold mining town of Kalgoorlie Boulder. While we're there we discover that there's many things you can do for free including the Super Pit Tour. So stick around and we'll show you how you can do that. So if you're interested in family touring, please subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when a new video drops, give us a thumbs up and always leave us a comment. Let's get into it. So the reason we're headed to Kalgoorlie is we actually went there a few years ago when the kids were a lot younger. Hi Jacqueline. Can you wave? I'm videoing. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? What's that down there? Super pit! What is it? Super pit. It's the super pit. Where are we then? Super pit! In? The super pit. The super pit in Kalkuru? Yeah. yeah. And we wanted to do the super pit tour, uh, but Jacqueline was too young, so that's why we're headed back there now. And my mum and dad are coming along for that trip. They're actually, in the next few days, when we leave Cal, they're headed south down to uh, Esperance and Bremer Bay and that's when we head across to Uluru. Now Kalgoorlie's, uh, <laughs> anyone who lives in WA or Australia should know that it's a gold mining town. It's it's quite developed now. It's got a reputation of still being pretty wild but it was nothing like it was back in the 80s. So that's our first destination. <laughs> Alrighty, pretty much all set up now. What are you getting into? Ovaltine. Ovaltine. Oh. What are you doing? Getting a band-aid. Oh, there's already an injury. So pretty much all set up. Uh, we're in the Big Four Prospectors Caravan Park in Kalgoorlie. Uh, I said before I'm not a huge fan of caravan parks, but this is our only option here. The majority of this trip that we're going to be doing is going to be sort of off-grid free camps and uh, station stays and all that sort of stuff and <laughs> one of the reasons I'm not too keen on caravan parks that's our backyard <laughs> screaming kids playground you cut yourself did you yeah over teen strikes again the sharp the sharp foil on the tin that'll do it mate anyway 600 k's east of Perth super pit tour tomorrow and we're already onto the beers yes indeed it's gone four gone four yeah beer o'clock what'll it take us eight hours seven and a no, seven and a, seven and a bit. Half, yeah. Yeah, no, it's good You've got a nice shady spot here. Two or three spots. Oh, yeah. Stops. Yeah. Yeah, that spot's spot. in the sun still. And we got the kids screaming. Not our kids, other kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you anyway. get up very early as you do and scream yeah. at everybody else. Yeah. I'll wake everyone up with the coffee machine bubbling. Yep. Yeah. Well, that'll be Indeed. Anyway, plan for tonight? Dinner. This. Not a lot. This. Dinner. This. Drinks. This. Dinner. Few drinks. Dinner. Yep. Yeah. Dinner. And, drinks. Uh, Early start again in the morning. Uh, early yeah. to bed, early to rise. Yep. All right. Cheers. Catch you in the morning. Me. Cheers. Morning, everyone. Um, not quite six o'clock yet. We got up, uh, just making a <laughs> We got up relatively early, um, about half an hour ago. So I suppose we parked. That's the main entrance to the caravan park, so everyone who's leaving early, we can hear them coming and going, but it didn't really matter. It did wake me up a little bit early, but we've got to be up early anyway because we're going to go to the Kalgoorlie Super Pit. They're doing a tour every third Sunday. They do free tour if you get there 
um, at 8.30. They've got a tour at 9, at 10 and at 11. First in, best dress. You can do it for free. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's around $200 for a family of four. So we're going to get up nice and early. We're going to head in and uh, see if we can get in and do the free tour. Uh, I think Miranda was saying there's a museum in town called Hannah's or Hannah's. Uh, that's where you get your tickets from. I've got my coffee. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm making Miranda's one. I'll sit down, have a bit of breakfast. I'm going to go and uh, check it out. Okay, so we didn't make the 9 o'clock bus trip to the Super Pit, but we made the 10 o'clock. Okay. So we've got an hour to wait. So we're just going to zoom around the uh, museum at the moment. We can Kids actually... can go panning for gold. We can actually... And we get to keep the gold and we can also find some crystals. Do you reckon that vial's big enough? Yes. Oh, I think it's a bit we need a bigger big. vial because we're going to get loads of gold, hey? No, we're not. Alright, let's go check out this machinery, eh? Yeah. Just go to the next room. <laughs> Where are you driving to, Cam? I'm driving into a super pit. <laughs> no, this is going to be a rough ride. Especially with Cameron. See any gold? We'll sit up in here. You soon see it. See the little flakes there? Gold. See it? Oh. Yeah. Oh. There's little flakes. See there? It's a tiny flake. Yeah. It's not as big as one as in the teeth. See? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> see it's all flakes, see them? There. Oh yeah, little glitter. That's all they are. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's because gold's uh, 90 times heavier than worn, three times heavier than lead, and it sits up in here. Yeah. Up in sandy pieces. I'm sure there's some bigger ones in there for you. Yeah. <laughs> I got some gold. Did you? Yeah. Little flakes? Yeah. Tiny little, little flakes. Little silvery dots. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get anything big like that. I found some gems. You panned for some gems? That's all your loot, is it? Yeah. Well done, mate. You like your gems, eh? Mm-hmm. Hey, Jack can go. She get a bunch as well. Yeah, I would have preferred to get some gold though. Yeah, there's only little tiny gold flakes in those ponds, mate. Well, you can't even pick them up. They're so small. They're so small. Yeah. Just love all that old machinery. It's just like brute force engineering at its best state-of-the-art when it was constructed. Any questions? Looking good, you haven't got your glasses on. No worries. Oh good, put your glasses on. We're not out, so put your glasses on. Glasses remain on at all times. No, we said outside. Outside the bus. Alright. This is heavy. Okay, so this truck is emptying his tray, or her tray, so that it can go in the workshop. There you go. On the right hand side. I actually organised this specifically for you. <laughs> yeah, it's no worries, mate. So what they're doing is that truck's going to go and have some maintenance done to it. So what they do is they come over here and they lift the tray up and they shake it to make sure there's no rocks in the tray. We make quite a couple, don't we? <laughs> Looking good. Look. <laughs> okay, do you want a picture of So that pit three and a half kilometers across the wider section one and a half 
kilometers on the narrow section, 700 meters deep. An 11 kilometer, 11 and a half kilometer round trip for the dumpies to go down and back up. It takes an hour and a half. And Jacqueline, did you hear what the bus driver was saying? What? On the other side, you know where the free uh, super pit viewing platform is? Yeah. Where we went to last time when you guys were little kids? They're going to mine that out. That free viewing area that we went to, we'll go again this time. That's eventually going to be mined out very soon. There's gold under there. So they're extending the pit past that point. Can you pick me up? I can't. Can you see the dump trucks down in there? Yeah, I can see them Oh, you got your binoculars? They look cool? Yeah. One's got a little buggy thing trailing him. That's not a little buggy thing, mate. That's a four wheel drive. <laughs> so we've just pulled into Mount Charlotte Reservoir. That's where we are right now. People in WA probably heard of C.Y. O'Connor, so he designed and engineered the pipeline that brought fresh water. There's no fresh water in Kalgoorlie. He brought fresh water from Perth, Mundaring Weir, all the way to Kalgoorlie. It's like 560, 600 kilometers. Um, it's the longest pipeline uh, in the world, apparently now, because it's been added to. The whole pipeline network is now 8,000 kilometers, but the original pipeline, 560 to 600 Ks that got water fresh water from Perth to Kalgoorlie and it all ends in this reservoir up on the top of the hill not going to be able to make that out right conceived by engineer in chief CY O'Connor and completed in 1903 Kugali Goldfields water supply scheme comprised a reservoir on the Helena River, eight steam driven pumping stations, 566 kilometers of steel pipeline supplying 200, sorry, 23,000 kilometers of water daily to the arid gold fields. Nowhere else in the world had so much water been pumped so far. The system was sub subsequently extended to serve the central and northeast wheat belt. point for the pipeline you would have seen it <clears throat> Miranda was taking some shots on the drive up and that pipeline running along the road that's it that's where it stops right here it's a good look at too all right so that Hannon's museum and the super pit tour was as fantastic the kids had a blast saw the gold pour as well but they're all <laughs> They're all touristed out now, the kids. We're going to head back to the caravan park. They want to go for a swim. So, round everyone up, back in the car. Lunch, swim. So just a super lazy afternoon. After our tour this morning, just went back, had some lunch. Kids swam in the pool and just chilled out around the campsite. But now we've come back to the public viewing platform of the super pit. Where we're standing, this is all going to be dug up because there's gold under here apparently they did some um exploratory drilling uh we've got the geologists and the experts in and yeah this public super pit platform viewing area it's going to be gone so yeah it's kind of disappointing because there's a really good view up here and they've got a lot of information obviously a few old relics and stuff but yeah in the not too distant future the only way you're going to be able to view the pit is by doing the tour that we did earlier you won't be able to come here to the public lookout but anyway it's a pretty good view from up here so let's go and check it out camo oh wow oh this is a better view than the tour that we did yeah you get more um perspective of the depth yeah I think as you see more of the layers of so yeah, soap. Hey Cam. Yeah. We, we stand, we You're standing. You're standing. Jack can get in there. We're standing in you two level. are standing in a bucket that is worth one million dollars. Can we take it home? Can we take it, it home? It's a million dollars worth of mining machinery here. And all it does is scoop up dirt and put it in the back of a truck. Incredible. We've been in here before. Sorry, 1.1 million. 
pop quiz, Nana, how much is that bucket worth? 1.1 million. 1.1 million. million, winner, winner. Something a little bit different today. I'm not going for a little walk around. Very special day today. Happy birthday, Daddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Thank you. Happy birthday. Ah, oh, thank you. And vacuum cuddles. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Vacuum cuddles. That's right. 32 today. No? What? Plus what? <laughs> Thanks guys. So plans for today? Not much. We're leaving tomorrow. We're gonna go uh gonna go to the pub for lunch, check out town, and that's about it. And then pack up this evening, push on to our next destination tomorrow. Alright. I'm using Camo's hat because I left mine back at the camper. He's got his cap on. But before we head out to um, uh, pub lunch, if you go to the tourist centre, they've got a little brochure you can pick up called Little Finds. It's basically a whole bunch of art murals on walls around the city centre of Kalgoorlie. So we're going to go for a little bit of a stroll. There's one on the other side of the road there, Cam just pointed out. Um, so a little bit of a stroll around the, uh, the streets of Kalgoorlie City. Find all these murals. Hey look Cam, there's one here mate. Yep, Gross. it's a swing, mate. Uh, <laughs> to work up a bit of a sweat and an appetite before we have our pub lunch and probably a couple of cheeky beers as well. Goldfields Museum came to the end of our little uh, little finds art tour and we figured we'd go to the museum as well oh wow free entry to the museum five dollar donation if you want the vault, real gold down in here, so let's go check out what they got. See any gold there, mate? Yeah, I also found a revolver. Oh. Yeah. Actually, a real vault. No way. Huh. Hey, Cam. Yes. Why don't you tell us where this elevator goes? To the very top. Of? The museum. The Eiffel Tower. Uh -huh. come What's on, it called? Look the, um, come on, come head on, frame. Come the head on. frame. The head yeah, frame. Yeah, so it's what used to send the mine down into the mine. Are we going up? I think I'm going to be able to look down. Up here, hey guys. I found Big Ben. Yeah, 
Awesome view. So did I get this right? The head frame, is that what they called it? They called it head frame, yeah, I think. And then they used to or something. prefer going underground mining yeah, to yeah. get all your carts down and your gold That's up. That's right. And it's like a big pulley system, I think. Yeah. That's all it was with wheels and cogs and all sorts for winching. And all those poor buggers underground Ooh. in the bad old days. Yep, yep. Whoa. Be awful. It's a hard life. Very hard. Hard life. There's another head frame just over there. That one's actually still operational. On the right. Imagine getting your teeth yanked out of a chair like that, Cam. Oh. Hey. I don't think I would want to be a miner back then. <laughs> Have a look at all those old dental. Definitely not like the dental psycho too. Nope. A bit gnarly. It's a bit spooky to be honest, the wall floorboards creak. Old school grandfather yeah, clock. It's like out of a horror movie. It is, it reminds me of Harry Potter. A little bit scared mate, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Craig. Thank you. Have a good trip. Cheers. 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 Campsite and just potted about for the afternoon. Turn the two off, and we just, you know, cheese and bickies for dinner. And we actually packed up this morning. We're headed to Lake Ballard, but on the way, just outside of Kalgoorlie, there's the two up shed. It's the only place in Australia you can legally still play two up. So we're going to go and check that out, and then that'll be pretty much the end of this episode. Yep. So let's go check out this two up shed. And after that, I'll catch you in the next one. What do you call? Tails. I call tails and tails. Tails and tails, heads and tails. Heads I'm heads and heads. And heads. Miranda? Uh, tail, tail. Tail, 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 tail. What have we got? Tails. tails. Heads! Yeah. Let's go! I'm going the double heads. I'm going heads and tails. Heads and tails, heads and tails. Tails? Heads! Yes! Oh, I'm sticking with the heads, heads. I'm going with tails and heads. I'm going with heads and heads. Tails, tails and heads. So this one, tails yes. and tails. Yeah, Let's go! Mine came up. I'm sticking with the heads and heads until I get it. It's hard. It's heads and heads. Woo! Heads and heads, I finally got it.
okay. Not much of the talkative type. Letting it all hang out too. <laughs> <laughs> So that pit is the deepest trucking mine in the world.